Hi everyone! Of course, in true Tony fashion, one minute before I was supposed to go live, my computer crashed. Of course, right? Like seriously, like the last, if you weren't here for the last uh, quilt trunk, for the last trunk show, my phones went off with emergency alerts and I'm just like, yeah. So this is my life. Hi, I'm Tony. <laughs> Uh, I am known as the Pixel Quilter. Uh, really quickly, if you didn't see my first trunk show, uh, I am known uh, for video game, comic book, and pop culture quilting. So everything I do is in more of a pixelated fashion because I'm a huge nerd and video gamer. Uh, I also stream live on Twitch, which is a video game streaming site that also has a handmade section. So I stream four to five times a week. Um, this is how it's spelled down here. It's just twitch.tv slash Uh Yeah, and of course, see all my other social medias. And hey, Mara, how are you? So guys, Mara's next. So please stick around. I'm next to last. We only have one more person going for the trunk show. Thank you so much to Cherry and, um, and Tammy for putting this on. I love you guys. I appreciate you. You're amazing. Hey, Vin, thank you so much. So I have my assistant Vicki here in chat. That's because she's going to be throwing some links in there. Um, please feel free to take a look at it or come back and revisit the video if you want to take a look at those links. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Brenda. All right, quickly, I'm going to go fast because I've got lots of info to show you today. Lots of cool stuff for you to do. First off, how I got my start within the quilt industry. Um, I had been creating these um, video game and pop culture quilts for years and years. Then cosplayers came up to me and they said, hey, I love this. Where's your pattern? And I went, pattern? Well, the very first time that I was at a quilt market, hey, Heather, hey, Allison. Uh, I met Tammy and Tammy's an amazing, awesome, fantastic person. She's an amazing designer as a uh, quilt designer, as well as a, as a fabric designer. And she asked me to be part of her very first fabric line with Island Batik. So of course I said, yes. So this is the very first quilt that I made for Tammy. All I did is I took the designs that were on the Island Batik fabric and I pixelated it. And then I made it double-sided. So these are four of the fabrics that she had in her line that I decided to help her out and do that with. Uh, Marley is down on the ground. So, so dog Marley is down there. Jimmy, I'll make sure I show you Marley by the end of the, uh, the trunk show. So this is the second one that I did. Uh, so you may recognize this. This is one of my patterns. It is the gift of the goddesses. I actually designed this pattern because of Tammy. So if you take a look at it, the, the actual f Island Batik fabrics that are in here are really cool triangles. And they reminded me a lot about Legend of Zelda. So I decided to take this and, and design it with that. The next one that Tammy had me do, and the last one I've done with her, because I, she's asked me, but I've just been so busy. Psst. I may have my next pattern that just released today in her next line. It's right there. I can't show you, but I can't wait to share that with you. It's super exciting. So this is one that I, again, I designed just for Tammy. So if you take a look at this line of fabric with Island Batik, you see how it looks like, to me, a lot of, um, of metal, like a robot. So this, of course, is the evil robot. Hey, Serena, how are you? So this is my evil robot pattern. And for those Doctor Who fans, this only came ha happened because of Tamarini's. So, and, oh, and of course, look at this gorgeous fabric on the back. Is that not amazing, gorgeous fabric? This is the Globetrotter line that she did, which was super cool. So that was my introduction to the quilt world, is working with Tammy and doing a lot of those things. We also have the, um, I did do to my Quilt Tony page, right? Yes, making sure. <laughs> um, my next exciting thing was also designed because of Tammy. So what happens is whenever she comes out with these new fabric lines with Island Batik, she shoots me all the designs and I look at it and I go, can I just, I did Ashley, this, it's this size. This is called Gift of the Goddesses. Uh, my assistant will throw my pattern link in again. You can actually purchase this pattern. 
So it is this size. It's a smaller one, but you can always scale it up or scale it down. Uh, so she sends me the designs and I look at it and I go, Ooh, how can I design a cool pattern with this? This is super cool. Wait until you see her new line. I am so, so excited for it. I can't even tell you the name, but you may have an idea of some of the designs that are in there because this is the new pattern that was released today. You can now, as of today, buy my poop and coffee. Oops, I'm upside down. Poop and coffee. There we go. Poop and coffee. No, not the words, just the blocks. So I have a coffee block and a poop block that are combined together as minis. So you get two blocks with one pattern. And I am actually designing a, um, a table runner and mug rugs, which you have the full instructions for table runner and mug rugs. There's two sizes in these released today. All right. You ready to, uh, to look at some cool things that you haven't seen yet? You guys saw this on Saturday. So now, yes. Oh no. Tammy is magical. And I mean, you've met her. You've met her, Mike. She is magical. Hey, Matt. Thanks, Ashley. I appreciate it. All right. So my journey with my book. So for those of you that were here on Saturday, you saw my book, Designing Block Quilts, uh, which is now designing pixel quilts. So the physical book on, is on my website. This is the old one. The ebook for the Designing Pixel Quilts, which is the second edition, it's upgraded. It is available on Amazon. Uh, Whenever I talk to quilt guilds, this is what I talk about. I show them the book and then I show them my samples. So in the book, you actually get three different ways to, qu to make your design. So do pixel quilting, just like I do. You have stripping. So it all depends upon how you want it to look. You have my method, which is chunking. And then you have one pixel, one block. So this is more of the pixelated method. So these are the ones I pass around a lot. So you can really take a look at it and, and really see what it is. Uh, so I figured what better way to launch my book than to create a whole bunch of cute mini quilts. Because in my book, I also have a section on all the math, how to take patterns and not just, you know, figure out the math of the patterns, but how to resize patterns. So I took a bunch of my patterns and I resized them. So these are the ones that I showcased at Quilt Market a few years ago, just showing off a lot of my designs. And all of these are my patterns. These are not the sizes though. These are mini quilts. So these are mini versions. This is the size of what my patterns are. So all of my patterns are laps except for the one that we released today, which is of course the, the poop and coffee minis. And then of course, as you see, the, whoops, whoop, wrong one, big one and little one. Isn't he cute? So then I have my second book. So my second book, I actually launched one year ago. It is the Retro Gaming Revival Quilt. Uh, you can actually purchase each of these blocks separately on my website, or you can purchase the entire book. The physical book is available online through Amazon. The ebook is available on my website, but this is what it looks like. And this is the specialty quilt that I had professionally quilted from my amazing long armor just to showcase the book. And what we did is we actually did a quilt along last summer. It was so much fun. A whole bunch of stores participated and we actually went through and and I, I streamed on Twitch and we showed off how to do it. And yes, this is this is a double size, so it's pretty big. <laughs> As you see, it's it gets big. All right, so we're gonna put that right there. Really quickly. Because these are what you guys care about. This is why you're here today. My exhibit quilts. But first, I want to show you really quickly if you get my patterns. These are my patterns. It comes like this. It has all of the yardages on the back. 
And my kits, if you decide to pick up a kit, all of my prices are in USD. So they're in, even though I live in Canada, they're in, um, in USD because I do my business in the United States. So all my business is done through the US. So all of my prices are in USD. Here is my kits. So this is my lovely spider web. All of my kits, you not, not just get the, uh, the pattern, you get all of the fabric. And I already cut it for you. It's already cut in strips. And this is why a lot of stores carry my patterns, because if you can sew a straight-ish line, you can make my patterns. So my cousin Patty that is uh, lurking in here, message me if you want to make something. I'll hook you up. Uh, I also have my own templates through Martelli, which by the guy, by the way, guys, I don't know if you saw, Martelli has some really awesome face mask templates right now. They're super cheap. In fact, they're at cost. They're not making money on these things. So if you haven't checked out Martelli, make sure you do that. But you can also get these templates through me. So these are special templates that actually help you cut all of the pieces for all of my quilting. So if you get a kit and a template, you can make one of my quilts in a single day. It's, it's that fast. Like, seriously, they're that fast. All right, so, oh, I almost forgot. Mini quilts. Something I do on my Twitch stream is I create mini quilts. And these mini quilts I then give away, but I also make one now for myself to showcase how you do mini quilts. Oh, 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 that, that, there we go, there's Hestia. And last but not least, a new pattern line that I have started with the amazing Allison, also known as Hexadoodle Quilts. Hopefully you saw her trunk show earlier today. She's amazing. You may have seen me hiding over her shoulder in the back. She, I, I don't know how to make, I don't, I don't know how I feel about her having a mini me in her quilt studio, but <laughs> I love you, Allison. Um, we actually have started a new nerdy English paper piecing line. You may notice on my pattern website and in my kits, we have English paper piecing with a monster ball. I am actually coming out with a video on my YouTubes. I, I do tutorials once a week on YouTube. So I am doing a tutorial on how to actually take one of my designs and turn it into a plush. So that'll be a lot of fun. That's coming out in, in, a, uh, in a week or two. All right. Now, the moment you've been waiting for. If you have heard of me, but you're not quite sure where or how, and it's not from my patterns, it's probably because of these exhibit quilts. Like I said, I got my start with patterns because of cosplayers, because they wanted to make my quilts. So cosplay is something that is super important to me, the pop culture world, to everybody. So I thought, you know what, let's show quilters what cosplay really is. Um, it is dedicated original work that they go through and they spend hours and hours of creating stuff. They think of these things in their heads and they create original things. Um, so I want to show you the exhibit quilts that I created and they were based off of a cosplayer called Casey Renee Cosplay. So I'm going to show you her, uh, her designs and then the close up and then you can actually see how they were inspired by them. So this is the first quilt. This was her recreation bell quilt. So if she had a, so she was bell back in the day, this is how she would do it. And these fabrics are created, these are actually fabrics from her gown, which is another reason why I just wanted to show you these photos. So all, all of these fabrics, these golds, everything in here are actually from this cosplay. They're leftover fabrics mixed in with Stonehenge from Northcott. Stonehenge, I just, I love how it flows and how it moves and how it really shows off. So this is her quilt and I'm actually gonna show you a close-up of the design. So there is the close-up detail of her quilt. And there's the detail of the, well, detail of the cosplay and the detail of the quilt. So this was the first one that we had. The second one we had in the exhibit, and if you were at Houston this past year, you probably saw these. We had the cosplays and we had these quilts on display. 
And if, um, if I do any virtual quilt shows or if I co go to actual quilt guilds, these will all come with me and you can see these in person. And I don't, I don't care if people touch my quilts. Feel free to touch and play around. It's not a problem. I, I know, right, Heather? Like, I, I love these things so much. So this is her Rococo Bell. So you can see the inspiration. That is the actual photograph that I used this inspiration from. And let's take a look at the detail. And you can take a look at the detail in the quilt. So every single one of these quilts, I have a 3D effect. The la this one, I had the roses that popped out. This one, I had actual lace coming down. So you can see the lace in it. The next one, this is my favorite. So this is Anne Boleyn. So she did, um, she created Anne Boleyn as an inspiration from the show Tudors. So she took the dress that she cre had in there and recreated it. That this dress material right here is upholstery. The 3D effect on here is twofold. The coat, the fur coat, is actually Shannon Fabrics Fun Fur. So this is Shannon Fabrics Fun Fur. And down here, you see there's a webbing lining over top of here because this is upholstery fabric. Do you know how many seam pops I had in here when I made this? It is ridiculous. So one more time for Anne Boleyn. And last but not least, this is her creme de la creme. Vi oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to show you the detail shots of those. Do, 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 do. So those are the detail shots of her up close of the cosplay of the Anne Boleyn. I know, right? Isn't Shannon Fabrics the best? Wait, really, I know I'm over time because I started late, but I have to tell you about Saint, the St. Saint Jude stuff as soon as I'm done. So last quilt. This is the super expensive $25,000 cosplay that she created. It is Sikizos. No, it is um, Sikizos. Uh, amethyst. So Sakizo is a um, is an Asian artist who creates these inspired pieces, and her piece called um, Amethyst is what that is inspired by. So here is the quilt created from this cosplay, and if you look closely, the three D effect. These bows, Casey Renee made herself and they are attached on by hand. So this is the, the quilt that's inspired by the Sikizal Amethyst. Fantastic, and let's take a look at that close up shot. So that is the, the ruffle that's behind there. And seriously, if you ever get the chance to see her at a convention and see this in person, it's breathtaking. It is absolutely stunning. It is over 10,000 um, uh, piece of jewels that she hand set into that cosplay. It is, it's just absolutely amazing. I just, I love it so much. So thank you. Thank you very much. Really quickly, I want to let you know about uh, what, what's next, what's coming up for me. Uh, starting at the end of the month on April the 29th, I am starting my St. Jude initiative. What is that? It is a month long fundraising drive that I do on Twitch twitch.tv slash quiltoni and I have a sponsor every single day. If you donate to my St. Jude stream, every five dollars you donate, you get a ticket to win whatever that sponsor is is offering. And then at the very end, I create a one-of-a-kind quilt that I will never create again and then I give it away. Right, Marlene? Yes. Yes, Marley says, come join us on Twitch. He dances, you can give him treats, you can do all sorts of things. And Vicky has, um, has a link to St. Jude stuff if you're interested. Take a look, we have some amazing sponsors. Shannon Fabrics, Oliso, um, Aurifil, Tamarini's is a sponsor, guys. Tamarini's is part of our sponsors. Uh, A&E Guterman. We have just amazing sponsors and amazing things that you can, you can win. So take a look at the calendar. 
and thank you so much for joining me. Mara is next, uh, and th this is it. This is it, right? This is it. So if you want to see more uh, more shenanigans with me squirreling and going all over the place, join me on Twitch. I may do a few more of these on Facebook, but that's where I am on a daily basis. And I'll be streaming there Monday where I'll be, um, oh my gosh, I almost forgot the most important one. I created this two weeks ago to raise money for Stream Aid. Ha ha, I forgot to show you that quilt. I am actually making three more replicas of this. Yes, it's a 3D quilt. So I will be basting, quilting, and binding this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on Twitch. Take a look at my schedule. I'm going to post it on Sunday. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. Thank you. And don't forget to check out our last Quilt Candy virtual trunk show. Have a fantastic day!